Hello friends, welcome back to the Video Peak. I'm your stylist, Shauna Rose, and we've got some fabulous new clothes. <laughs> Isn't this so cute? I wish you could feel it because it is just as soft as it is cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. I had one of these like in my early 20s, I wanna say it was my early 20s, and I don't know what happened to it, but it's a thing of the past, and so when I found this one, I was like, yes, every girl needs this. It's got these cute little eyelet hooks for closure, so you can stay nice and warm if it's chilly out. You can add scarves. There's pockets, nice liner. So just really fabulous, and it's roomy. I'm wearing a medium, and I feel like there's plenty of room. I feel like I could do a small if that's all I could choose from. I like a little bit more room, especially with my coats, but maybe you don't. Maybe you like it a little bit more fitted because it's furry and it's already adding bulk. You get to decide what's best for you. There's no stretch, but again, it feels really good. It's got a great fit. It feels great under the arm and on the shoulders. It covers the cupcakes. And this is one of those pieces I think we'll have for like years to come. I mean, most of my stuff is like that, but anyways. So cute, right? <laughs> this tank top is so fun. Look at this. Look at that. Just fun written all over it. Just all over it. Just fun, fun, and more fun. <laughs> the only thing is, is if you buy this top for me, you just have to dance all the time. You just have to always wiggle and dance, and that's it. That's the only requirement if you want to wear this top. <laughs> You could be like a walking mirrored ball. <laughs> what are those things called? Disco ball. You could be like a walking disco ball. So I thought we have Thanksgiving and Christmas and Hanukkah and I don't know what else, but there's holidays coming. So there's gatherings coming. And I just think that anything with bling is just so festive and fun and celebratory. So I grabbed this piece. You can easily put it on with anything you already own in your own closet. Just wear it with some black pants and a little black cardigan or get creative. You know, put it on with some red pants. <laughs> I just had it on with the leopard jacket and I think that was fine. I don't know that it's like ideal, but I think in style these days, what's ideal is not always the best choice. I think creativity is what we're drawn to the most. So what creativity is in you that you can take out on this lovely number? So it's an A-line, really great for covering up what's going on under here. You know, not showing the goodies or the cupcakes. <laughs> Spaghetti straps, so I think if you're just wearing a black bra, it'll just blend right in, so that's easy. But very stretchy, comfortable. These are pre-washed and pre-shrunk, so you can just throw this in the washer and the dryer and it should come out perfect. <laughs> Cute, huh? And I just got these new jeans. Let's see if you can check these out. So they're a little bit shorter for me. Like they, These are called mom jeans, according to the vendor I bought them from. So they're high rise, but Truthfully, I've had jeans in here that are actually higher. Hard to believe because these do come over my belly button, but I've had some that come, you know, almost all the way up to the rib cage or under the breasts, you know. Um, these come right up over my belly button. So you can see where this is hitting me. Everybody's belly button is in a different place. Everybody has a different length torso. So this is just giving you an idea based on my body but it could be different on yours. What I like about it is it's coming up over my hip. It's not hitting me here where I get this bulge. So it's nice that it's coming up over the hips, tucking and smoothing. It's got pockets. You always wanna make sure that you smooth out your pockets once you get your jeans on. They're very comfortable. Obviously this tag will be gone, but, but, get it, but. <laughs> Anyhow, um, they're very comfortable. They're not super tight. I'm wearing a size nine, which is basically my size. So they're true to fit. Whatever your size is, that's the number you're gonna look for with this. But very comfortable. And I love the charcoal. It's hard to find. It is really hard to find. I'm always out there looking for charcoal jeans and there's not a lot of them. 
So if you need a pair of charcoal jeans in your wardrobe that are stretchy and comfy and come up high and tuck everything in but are comfortable, they're not super tight, these are the jeans for you. Look at this adorable army colored waffle fabric top with a bell sleeve and stars. It's so cute. Who doesn't love stars? Whether they're the stars in the skies or the stars in your eyes, we all seem to love stars. <laughs> Aren't they just cute? So this is easy, comfortable, stretchy. Throw it on with jeans or leggings or whatever you wanna throw it on with. I really like the length, I like the fit. It does have a hood, not everybody's into hoods, but I will say, if you love this top and you don't love the hood, this is a super easy line right here to cut the hood off. And then if you did that, it would fit just like a scoop all the way around without the hood. And that's something I can easily do for you. So if you love this top and not the hood, let me know and I'll chop it off. Totally free of charge. But if you do love the hood because it's great protection for when it starts drizzling or raining or a big flock of birds flies over you. <laughs> and so, this is just a really cute, easy number to wear to add to our wardrobe when we're getting sick of the things that we've already worn a million times. Not that they're not cute, but we've already worn them a million times. So this can be your new one. We are going into the cooler weather pretty soon, I think. <laughs> and I just wanted to get some cuddly pieces in here that we could just wear and throw on with our comfortable pants and run our errands and live our life but look fabulous doing it. So I thought this was really beautiful. Look at this. This is a soft baby pink. I know sometimes the light blows this color out and it looks white, but this is a soft baby pink mixed with this black. And the black actually has the light pink all throughout. This is actually a 1X, the size that I'm wearing. So this is a 1X. There's lots of room in here, and this goes up to a 3X. I specifically was looking for pieces for my larger gals because usually I'll get one extra large in a pack and that's it. One of you gets the item. And sometimes the extra large is even just a little bit snug, a little bit too much of a junior fit. So these are going to be fabulous for so many of you. And if your weight fluctuates and you're worried like, oh, it fits me now, but I'm losing weight and so it's not going to fit me, you can see it on me. I'm typically a medium and I think it hangs beautifully. This with a pair of leggings and boots is going to be so cute when it gets cooler. Throw on a scarf, just a great, almost basic, but a little bit more fun than a basic. Very comfortable lots of room. I think you can have this one for years as well. If you've been shopping with me for years, then you know I get this cuddly number all the time. I mean, I have literally gotten this one in pink and gray and black and white and cranberry and off-white. So I, well, that's at least six colors. And now they have this beautiful blue and it's so cuddly and soft and I just I personally own four of them. I'm thinking that this might be my fifth because I don't have this color. It's got pockets, it's got a hood. It's just cuddly and wonderful when it does get chilly. I even have a lot of gals that tell me they just wear it at home all the time. It's like they're in the house cuddly little jacket because it's not too much. It's not long like you're wearing a house robe, but it gives you that same comfort that same cozy cuddling up at home vibe that you get to take out of your house and into the world. You know, if you're running errands, it helps when you're in the cold aisles at the grocery store, or just running around in the evening when it does get cold, right? Morning and evening tend to be pretty chilly in California. I don't know where you are, but it's that way for us here. And so if this is winking at you, let me know, I have a few, and I will pull it aside for you or ship it to you. So this is another one of the plus size tunics that I found. This is a one, it goes all the way up to a three, and it's just a thin, comfortable fabric. I love the colors that they did in the dye. The sleeve length is nice, plenty of room in the arms, under the arms. You can tie it in a knot. That changes the vibe a bit. You can belt it. 
I personally think when you have a long tunic like this that either really tight jeans or leggings is your best bet with a boot. So how would you wear it? When I saw this adorable tie-dye navy blue and black combo cardigan, I thought this is perfect. We can wear it with jeans, we can wear it with black. Again, the comfort in this, the softness, the stretch, plenty of room for every body type. It's just flattering and easy to wear. And again, once this cold weather kicks in, which already in the morning and at night it is here, this is such a nice lightweight piece to just throw on, keep warm, but without overheating because some of them are just really thick and hot. This one is not. This is just the perfect medium comfort and thickness. So maybe you need to come in and try it on. <laughs> Tie-dye and lace, two of my favorite things to combine in any piece of clothing. And not just clothing, but even like decor. <laughs> I love tie-dye, I love lace. Look how cute. So this again is one of the plus size pieces that I found because some of my plus size ladies need some options when they come in here instead of just the one extra large that's gone in the first day. So there's plenty of these for you gals. It goes from 1X to 3X. I'm wearing the 1X. You can see that it hangs beautifully even though it's oversized. I have it tucked in, this is the shoulder tuck, but you don't have to do that. You can just let it hang. You can tie it in the front. You can overlap it and belt it. I'm gonna take these two and just tie it together to give you an idea. And I'm being lazy, so I'm just keeping on the underneath pieces that I've had on what's new. But I just wanna give you an idea of how it's fitting on a body. Plenty of room in the arms across the back. It's just a really elegant piece. And again, timeless. I think we could just really wear this for so many different occasions. Don't be afraid to throw it on with jeans or leggings and dress it down. You don't have to wait for an occasion to wear this. Just wear it. It's so comfortable. So there, I'm actually recording this video while the store is open. So you're going to hear voices. It's going to be a little bit different than how it normally is. But I wanted you to see this adorable sweatsuit. It matches. So they go together. It's got pockets. It's got pockets up here. It's got a hoodie. It is literally the most comfortable thing I have ever worn in my whole life. So if you're not into outfits, this might not be for you because I'm selling them as a set. You don't get to buy one or the other. You have to buy the whole set. But if you love them, but you don't want to wear them together, you can wear this with jeans or you can wear this with a t-shirt. So you can really mix and match. You don't have to wear them together. But personally, I think it's just super cute together. Like remember when those little velour jumpsuits were like all the rage? This is like the new version of that. And Truth be told, I waited months and months and months for these sets to come in. So now that it's finally here, you can take advantage of it, come try it on. You're gonna be so cuddly and cute, sitting around in the house getting things done, and then when you have to go run errands, you're still gonna look adorable. So come try it on. You already saw the sparkly blingy top, but you didn't see the sparkly blingy fringy pant that I got to go with it. <laughs> it's so cute, look at this. I mean, it's adorable. I really haven't seen the fringe and the bling. So we have the nice yoga waistband that holds everything in, makes us feel comfortable. And the fringe is up by the knee, so it's not gonna trip you when you're walking around. Can you see that? I'm trying to like, let you see the fringe. And, and I got this adorable little jean jacket that's all ripped up and cute, so it sort of looks like you're a zombie from the 80s. <laughs> and I figure you could just throw on a little jean jacket with just about anything. Isn't that fun? Just so cute. So for all my wild childs out there, you're gonna have to come in and try these on. <laughs> okay. 
One of the things that I've been thinking about the most lately is self-awareness. I used to talk about this a lot more than I do these days, but I just want to touch base on this again because I, it, funny story, funny not funny, I was one of those trolls on Facebook that got caught in a little Facebook thread debate. <laughs> and this woman that I was debating with was telling me how mean and how ugly I am being, right? Which personally, I, I don't think I was. But, but, I want to be the kind of person that takes accountability for my flaws and for areas where I can improve myself. So I started thinking about that. Like, where could I have done better? What could I have maybe omitted or left out that might not have triggered this person? So even though we might think we're right, even though we're feeling very self-righteous and we think that we did everything right, I think we can still do better. I know I can, and I'm going to spend some time doing some, some inner work and thinking about where I can improve, and I think that that is a huge part of self-love is self-awareness. In what area in your life do you feel like you might be causing some discomfort to somebody else and you don't understand why? Maybe you can actually do some self-reflecting, some looking in the mirror and seeing where we can do better, where we can be better, because we all can. No, None of us are just perfect. We can all do better. So even in those moments when we think we're being wronged and we think we're the ones that are doing it right, Let's take that time to self-reflect and recognize that even the perfect ones are not perfect. <laughs> even when we think we're doing everything right, there's a chance that we could be doing it even better. And I think that that's the best version of self-love is when we're always looking at what we're doing and seeing where we can improve on that. And together, one by one, starting with ourselves, we can make this world a better place. One love.